Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we're gonna make some souvlaki. Souvlaki could be described as Greek fast food. It is some form of protein, usually chicken or pork, coated in a spice blend and then grilled, and then typically served on a pita. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different than some of my other cooking videos, in that really the main focus of this video is the spice blend. From there, it's up to you what sort of protein you wanna use and how you wanna cook it. You could use chicken, in which case I'd probably recommend chicken thighs just because they're more tender. You could use pork, in which case I'd recommend using a pork tenderloin. In this video, we are gonna use chicken. We're also gonna use ground beef and just make these little sort of patty meatball sort of discs. In terms of cooking them, you could use a convection oven, you could use an air fryer, you could use a griddle or skillet, you could use a grill. And I'm gonna talk about each of those, the times and temps that I would use if you're gonna prepare them that way. But in this video, it is gonna be chicken on skewers on the grill and it's gonna be ground beef in a convection oven. Additionally, this video is gonna be a little bit more slice of life. I didn't get a big window of opportunity in the kitchen to be setting up lights and cameras and, and things like that. So a lot of this was just recorded on the fly with my iPhone. And you're gonna to get to see just how small my kitchen is and sort of how chaotic it can be when it comes time for us to all start prepping our food and then sit down for dinner as a family. But with that out of the way, let's start making it, beginning with the spice blend. We'll start with one teaspoon of dried thyme, then one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of Aleppo pepper, a teaspoon of sea salt or kosher salt, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a teaspoon of ground fenugreek seed. Ground fenugreek seed is really one of my secret weapon sort of spices. It is really, really unique. I mean, to smell it, you pick up the, the smell of maple and a little bit of mustard, some fennel. It, it kind of has a, a little bit of a curry scent to it as well. And in fact, it's an ingredient often used in curry powders. Ground fenugreek seed is probably not something that you have in your spice cabinet. Additionally, it's probably not something that you would find at your local grocery store. To get fenugreek seed, you probably are gonna to need to order it online unless you've got some sort of a spice vendor nearby. If you don't feel like buying fenugreek, you could potentially substitute maybe a little bit of curry powder or perhaps some ground mustard, but really, this stuff can elevate your cooking. I love it. Like I said, it's one of my secret ingredients. And as such, I was really excited to see on a recent episode of Milk Street TV, them using fenugreek in their souvlaki. So I stole the idea and put it in mine, and man, oh man, is it tasty. I'm gonna mix my herbs and spices with the back end of my spoon here, just so that they're a little bit more evenly distributed. Then we'll move on to our protein. I've got two pounds or about a kilo of ground beef. This is 75% lean. I'm gonna add two beaten eggs to that. And then I'm gonna sprinkle on my spice mixture. Kind of spread it around there. And then using my hands, I'm gonna combine it all together. Just massage it until all of the egg and all of the spice blend is thoroughly combined. Then I'm gonna make some little patties, somewhere between a, a meatball and a patty. So just take a small meatball amount, kind of tidy up the edges, flatten them out a bit. I find that this spice blend is enough for two pounds of meat, whether you're using it as a coating on chicken or pork, or if you're making patties like this. But now we're gonna pop this into the oven. And into the oven at 425 Fahrenheit. Then we'll put our two kebabs on the grill. It is uh, 34 degrees out right now. Can you see that? All right, kebabs on the grill. Thank you. 
In terms of cooking times and temperatures, if you are going to use an air fryer, my recommendation would be 395 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for about 12 minutes. If you're using a convection oven, I would go 425 Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius for about 20 minutes. For the chicken on the skewers that I'm grilling, I'm grilling it at high for about 15 minutes, flipping the skewers halfway in between. You could also do these on a griddle or a skillet. I'd recommend cast iron. That will maybe give you a nice little crust on the outside. And from there, uh, you know, you kind of just got to go by gut feel. The next portion of this recipe is completely optional and it does up the carbs a little bit, but man, is it good. It's a tomato and red onion salad. Into a large bowl, we will add four tomatoes that I have cut into little half moon shapes, probably a quarter of an inch thick. Then we'll add one red onion, thinly sliced. I like slicing it the long way, just kind of more aesthetically pleasing that way. Then I have two teaspoons of dried oregano, which I will sprinkle evenly or as evenly as I can across the top. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which I will drizzle also over the top. And finally, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. I'll use my hands to kind of toss this and get the oil and vinegar and oregano mixed and bust up some of that red onion. And then I will set this off to the side until my souvlaki is ready. You can make this the night before if you want. Now it's time to plate this up and have a taste. Now, I am not going to include the macros, just because there is so much variability depending on how you decide to top these. We've got some feta, we've got that tomato and onion salad, which is kind of where the carbs are in all of this. Depending on what you use for a delivery mechanism, it could be the egg life tortilla or some sort of keto flatbread, that's gonna change the macros a bit. Also, if you decide to make the tzatziki, which I'll link to right up here, I've got a recipe for that, that kind of changes things a little bit. So while I won't include the macros and I'm not gonna have a printable recipe, I will list all the ingredients and the amounts down below in the description for the spice blend. Mm, this looks awesome. All right, let's go inside. It's pretty cool, these skewers, you can just slide right off. And now we'll go grab the ground beef. Piece of everything. Sure. However you want to do it. Okay. Sorry. Now, typically, we have four of us all around the island here, all trying to plate stuff up at the same time. It is, just, just imagine this times four, and what an absolute mess it is. So I'm not sure if uh, you're gonna be able to pick that up and eat it like a like a wrap or a sandwich. Probably not, so. Well, I could take a bite. Really? Hmm, I have to do a sandwich. Oh, no. No, too dangerous? Too dangerous. Mm. Too There's dangerous, Grandpa. Awesome. Meat. What's that, Colton? Too dangerous, Grandpa. Yes, it is. <laughs> Great flavor in that beef and chicken. Wow. Mm. Greek, yeah. Good stuff? Good stuff. Thanks, dear. Really hey, good. Colton. How is it? Good. Yeah? What did yeah. you have? Did you have the meat or the chicken? Beef. Oh, you're having the beef? Mm hmm. Is it yummy? Mm hmm. Which do you like more, the beef or the chicken? The beef. All right, I'm using Egg Life wraps right here, but if you wanna make your own, I'm gonna to link to Indigo Neely's recipe down in the description below. I've heard they are awesome. Holy it, Grandpa. It's really good. Mm. Oh, 
Wow. That is tasty. We'll try the beef now. This looks like I'm probably gonna have a blowout on the back end. I'm not gonna say that, that sounds horrible. All right, here we go. <laughs> With a mayo? Hmm. That is a winner right there. I've mentioned on some prior videos that I just love recipes like this. Recipes that just sort of coincidentally happen to be keto. Recipes that I can make for my non-keto family. I can be as keto as I want. They can top it and eat it on a pita, whatever they want that's not keto. We're all happy. But now it's your turn. Make the spice blend. Play around with what proteins, what cooking methods you use. Have some fun with it. Make it your own. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap that subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. If you'd like to help out the Serious Keto Test Kitchen, click that join button and see what memberships and perks are all about. And make sure to check out those two videos over there, especially the tzatziki. That's some tasty stuff. Thanks for watching.